Question one. When working as a private hired vehicle driver, where should you wear your badge? Should you wear it on A, the upper part of the body, B, the lower part of the body, C, on the back seat of the car, D, on the outside of the car? And the correct answer is A, upper part of the body. Question two. Where should you display your additional driver's badge? Should it be A, top right of the front window, B, top of the car, C, top left front windscreen, or D, outside of the car? And the correct answer is C, top left front windscreen, as you would imagine. Question three, what is the maximum number of passengers a saloon car licensed as a private hire vehicle can carry? Is it A, eight, B, six, C, four, or D, three? And the correct answer is C, four. Question four, what is the maximum number of passengers a minibus licensed as a private hire vehicle can carry? Is it A, eight, B, five, C, three, or D, two? And the correct answer is A, eight. Question five, is a private hire vehicle always a private hire vehicle? Is it A, yes? B, no. C, it depends on the city you are driving in. Or D, it depends on the council you are with. And the correct answer is A, yes. Question six. When can you remove the vehicle plates or the door signs? Is it A, never? Or B, if you are driving with family? And the correct answer is A, never. Question seven. In what way should you assist passengers? Now here you can choose, here we want you to choose two answers. So, A, is it A, help with the luggage in and out of the car? Is it B, walk into the house? Is it C, carry luggage to and from the front door? Or is it D, help them count their money from their bag or wallet? We're looking for two answers. And the two correct answers are A, help with luggage in and out of the car, and C, carry luggage to and from the front door. Question eight. When your passenger gets out of the private hire vehicle at the end of each journey, what must you do? Is it A, check the vehicle for any property left inside, or B, check that you have all your money with you? And of course, the correct answer is A, check the vehicle for any property left. Question nine. If you change your address, who must you notify within seven days? Is it A, the council, B, the DVLA, C, the police, or D, the post office? And of course, the correct answer is A, the council. Question ten. Why do you need to wear your private hire vehicle badge and display your additional badge? Is it A, so customers and the council can tell you are registered? Or B, so that you look professional? Or C, so that you don't forget your own name? Well, we hope it's not C. The correct answer is obviously A, so customers and the council can tell you are registered. Question 11. Who should you give your private hire vehicle driver's license to? Is it A, the police, B, the operator, C, the council, or D, keep it at home? The correct answer is B, the operator. Question 12. Who should you report convictions or fixed penalties to, and within what period of time? Is it A, the council, within 14 days? or B, the police, within seven days? And the correct answer is A, the council, within 14 days. Question 13. If you move between operators during the currency of your private hire vehicle driver's license, whom should you contact? Is it A, the council, B, the DVLA, C, your taxi base, or D, the police? And the correct answer is A, the council. Question 14. Does a private hire vehicle driver's license issued by your city council 
allowing you to drive a private hire vehicle licensed by another council? Is it A, no, or B, yes? And the answer is obviously A, no. Question 15. How often is a private hire vehicle driver required to undergo a DBS? That's a criminal records check. Is it A, three years, B, two years, C, one year, or D, five years? And the correct answer is A, three years. Question 16. When may a private hire vehicle driver not wear a seatbelt? Is it A, when he is carrying fair paying passengers? B, when in fear of his life? Or C, when driving under 20 miles per hour? And the correct answer is A. <clears throat> Question 17. Full and accurate records of every booking must be kept by whom? Choose two answers. A, the operator. B, the DBLA. C, the passenger or D, the police? Two answers here to look for, and the correct answers are A, the operator, and B, the police. D, sorry, D, the police. Question 18. Who may inspect the records of bookings? Choose two answers here. Is it A, the police, B, the DVLA, C, the council, or D, your passengers? And the correct answer is a, the police, and C, the council. Question 19. How many mechanical tests must a car have between tw 10 and 12 years old? Is it A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, or D, 5? And the correct answer is A, 2. That's a question 20. In what form do the council require insurance documentation to be presented? Is it A, the original, B, coloured copies, or C, black and white copies? And the correct answer is A, the original. Question 21. The original certificate of insurance or cover note can be inspected at any time by whom? Choose two answers here. A, the police, B, the council, C, the DVLA, or D, your passengers? Correct answer is A, the police, and B, the council. Question 22. Which items are strongly recommended to be provided and maintained in the vehicle at all times? Choose two answers. So it, are they A, the fire extinguisher, B, the first aid kit, C, the service record, or D, the air freshener? And the correct answers are A, Fire, the fire extinguisher, and B, the first aid kit. Question 23. What is the minimum age recommended for a passenger to travel in the front seat with normal seat belt restraint? Is it A12, B6, C20, or D4 years of age? And the correct answer is A12 years of age. Question 24. What should you do if you lose your private hire vehicle driver's badge? Should you A. Report it to the council, B. Find a new one, C. Don't tell anyone, or D. Make sure you have a backup in your house? And the correct answer is A. Report it to the council. Question 25. Do you have to supply full and accurate un information on your DBS? criminal records check application form. Is it A, yes, B, no, or C, doesn't matter? And the answer is obviously A, yes. Question 26. When can the private hire vehicle not use the most direct route between two points? Is it A, by the passenger request, B, when they are in a rush, or C, when you are stuck in traffic? And the correct answer is A, passenger request. Question 27. When can the holder of a private hire vehicle license drive a hackney carriage? Is it A, never, or B, if they have the car available? The correct answer is A, never. 
Question 28. If a license holder ceases to operate, how quickly must he or she surrender the vehicle driver's license and badges to the licensing services? Is it A, seven days, B, eight days, C, three days, or D, two days? And the correct answer is A, seven days. Question 29. Who may inspect the maintenance policy statement and other maintenance records of the vehicle. Choose two answers here. Is it A, the council, B, the DVLA, C, the passengers, or D, the police? The correct answer is A, the council, and D, the police. Question 30. Which document, in addition to all the maintenance records, must be kept available for inspection at any time? Is it A, the maintenance policy, B, the insurance documents, C, passenger care information, or, or D, fuel usage? And the correct answer is A, the maintenance policy. Question 31. Which two things shall be displayed and clearly visible to passengers in the vehicle? Choose two answers here. So there's two answers to look for. Is it A, the badge, B, your terms and conditions, C, your family photographs, or D, the license? And the correct answer is A, the badge, and D, the license. Question 32. Which document, in addition to all the maintenance records, must be kept available for inspection at any time? Is it A, the maintenance policy, B, the insurance documents, C, the passenger care information, or D, the fuel usage? And the correct answer is A, the maintenance policy. Question 33. What should you do if your private hire vehicle badge is stolen? Should you A, report it to the police and the council, B, don't tell anyone, take the law into your own hands and find the badge yourself? The correct answer is obviously A, reported to the police and the council. Question 34. What action can be taken against you if you are found to be in breach of your private hire vehicle driver's license conditions? Is it A, the badge will be suspended and or revoked? B, a slap on the wrists? C, you are given a small fine? D, a three-strike policy, and the correct answer is A, the badge can be suspended and revoked. Question 35. Is it an offence not to wear your private hire vehicle driver's badge while working? Is it A, yes, or B, no? And the correct answer is obviously A, yes. Question 36. If your private hire vehicle driver's license is suspended, what does this mean? A. You cannot drive as a private hire driver, or B. You can drive only at night time. The answer is obviously A. You cannot drive as a private hire driver. Question 37. If you have an accident in your private hire vehicle, causing damage affecting the safety performance or appearance of the vehicle, when do you have to report it to the licensing services? Is it A, within 24 hours, B, within 72 hours, C, within 100 hours, or D, within one month? And the correct answer is B, within 72 hours. Question 38. Is it compulsory for a private hire driver to wear a seat belt at all times? Is it A, no, or B, yes? The answer is A, no. Question 39. What must a license holder do before using a computerised record keeping system? Is it A, get approval from the council, or B, get approval of the passenger? And the correct answer is A, get approval from the council. Question 40. 
Who is responsible for a child of 13 wearing the seat belt in a private hire vehicle when they are accompanied by their parent or parents? Is it A, the driver, B, the passenger, or C, the mother or father? The correct answer is A, the driver. Question 41. When can you charge for carrying an assistance dog being accompanied by a person with a, dis with a disability? A. Never. B. If they are dirty. C. If you do not like them. D. If they are blind and be can be taken advantage of. The correct answer is A. Never. Question 42. If your operator asks you to pick up a passenger and when you get there you find he or she has an assistance dog, when can you refuse to carry an assistance dog? Is it A if you have an exemption certificate, B if you have a bias towards dogs, C if you do not want to carry a dog in your car, or D if you think you can get away with it? And the correct answer is A if you have an exemption certificate. Question 43. Once you have submitted your application form to licensing services, does this entitle you to immediately start work as a private hire driver? Is it A, no, or B, yes? And the answer is A, no. Question 44. Can a private hire driver book a private hire vehicle for a member of the public who approaches their vehicle? Is it A, no, or B, yes? And the correct answer is A, no. Question 45. Can a member of the public book a private hired vehicle by going into the base? Is it A, yes, or B, no? And the correct answer is A, yes. Question 46. Is it acceptable for a private hire vehicle driver to cruise around in his vehicle looking for customers, e.g. outside pubs or clubs? Is it A, no, B, yes, or C, doesn't matter? The correct answer is A, no. Question 47. If a member of the public approaches you when you are on duty in a private hire vehicle and asks you to take them somewhere and they have not made a booking with the base, do you do that? Is the answer A, no, or B, yes, or C, doesn't matter? The answer, great answer is A, no. Question 48. If a private hire vehicle driver picks up a customer who has not booked the vehicle in advance, does the private hire vehicle insurance cover this? Is the answer A, yes, B, no, or C, doesn't matter? The correct answer is B, no. Question 49. If a private hire vehicle driver is caught picking up passengers who have not booked in advance, what may happen to him or her? Is it A, nothing much, no one will find out? B, that they cannot drive in that area only? Or C, they will have a three-strike policy? Or D, uh, there will be suspension or revocation, or the badge will be revoked? The correct answer is D, suspension or revoke of the badge. Question 50. Do all your jobs have to come through to the base? Is the answer A, yes, B, no, or C, doesn't matter? And the correct answer is A, yes. Question 51. Who is allowed to drive the private hire vehicle? Is it A, the private hire driver, or B, a hackney carriage? The answer is A, private hire driver. Question 52. When are you allowed to smoke in a private hire vehicle? Is the answer A, never, or B, always? And the answer is A, never. Question 53. What is the Act in 1972 
which specifies a separate insurance for taxi cars? Is it A, the Road Traffic Act, B, the Miscellaneous Provisions Act 1976, C, the Inequality Act, or D, the Further Provisions Act? And the answer is A, the Road Traffic Act. Question 54. What is the act in 1976 for which you could be fined £1,000 if you do not comply? Is it A, the Road Traffic Act? Is it B, the Miscellaneous Provisions Act, 1976? Is it C, the Inequality Act? Or is it D, the Further Provisions Act? And of course the correct answer is B, the Miscellaneous Provisions Act. 